Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Happily Handmade by Janani. So today I am up with a new tutorial. Today I am going to teach you how to make a crochet coaster. So if you see I've made five pretty coasters here. So this is a smaller one and this is a special design. Uh, this is a cactus coaster with a very cute crochet flower that I showed you in the last tutorial. See this is very versatile and can, you can use it anywhere for any projects. So this was a set of four coasters that I did for a order. So you see how beautiful these colors are, how beautiful it has turned out. So come let's dive into the tutorial and see how to make a crochet coaster. The materials required for this project is 100% 4 ply cotton yarn, a 3.5mm crochet hook and a scissor. Today I am going to join both of these strands from two different yarn balls of the same color and size to make it into a thicker yarn because uh, currently I don't have any thicker yarn. So I am joining this. This is a very good method to make thicker yarns out of the yarns you have. So first you need to make a magic circle. This can be tricky for beginners but with little practice it will become very easy for you. So after making the magic circle I am going to chain 2. So after the chain 2 we are going to make 10 double crochet inside this magic circle. So now I have completed 10 double crochets. Now I am going to close the magic circle. So after closing the magic circle, you need to slip stitch in the first double crochet, not in the chain 2 space. So slip stitch in the first double crochet here. So our first round is completed. Next, to start the second round, you need to chain 2. So after this, I am going to make one double crochet in the same space where the chain 2 lies. And then from here on, I am going to make two double crochet inside every double crochet. So if you see we have made chain 2 and then 1 double crochet inside the same space and then we have made 2 double crochet inside every double crochet around. So now I have made 19 double crochets in total. I am going to make the 20th double crochet inside this space here. We do it like this to get a good finish so now we are going to slip stitch in the first double crochet here so if you see we got a good finish so now to start the third row we are going to chain 2 so after the chain 2 we are going to start the circle increases for that you need to make one double crochet in the same space where the chain 2 comes out from followed by two double crochets inside the next stitch and then again one double crochet in the next stitch followed by two double crochets in the next stitch so this is the pattern you'll be following for the whole row. One double crochet in the first stitch and two double crochets in the next stitch for the whole row. So at the end of this row, you will be having 30 double crochets. I'll complete it and I'll show you. So now I have completed 30 double crochets. This will curl up like this or like this, but that's completely okay. So we're going to slip stitch in the first double crochet. So 
to start row 4 we are going to chain 2 after the chain 2 we are going to do 1 double crochet in the first stitch here not this space the first stitch here and one more double crochet in the next stitch followed by two double crochet in the next stitch so this is the pattern we'll be following for the whole row around one double crochet in the first stitch one more double crochet in the second stitch and two double crochet in the next stitch so i'll complete this row and show you at the end of this row you should be having 40 double crochet so now I have completed 40 double crochet. I am going to slip stitch in the first double crochet here. So to start row 5, I am going to chain 2 and then make 1 double crochet in the first stitch here. 1 double crochet in the next stitch. 1 double crochet in the next stitch followed by 2 double crochet in the next stitch so this is the pattern that will be following for this row and this is the last row we are making 3 double crochets in 3 stitches followed by 2 double crochets in the next stitch so 1 2 3 4 5 so this is the pattern we're going to follow at the end of this row you should have 50 double crochet so now i have completed 50 double crochets i am going to slip stitch in the first double crochet here and then i'm going to chain one and cut my yarn So you just have to tighten it so if you see I cut out the yarn here which comes out of the magic circle and also this yarn I have just weaved it inside back and forth and then now I'm going to cut it so yes our coaster is ready I know this is just curling up you just have to place some weight on it for uh, half an hour to one hour and this should be fine it will just become like this it won't, won't curl like this so all these i have placed under some weight and it has become flat so these are the five beautiful pretty coasters that i have made today for an order and these are going to go to an office you can buy it for your office or your home or your college anywhere this is going to be perfect to place your mugs or water glasses these are very cute and pretty coasters you can wash it when it becomes a little dirty and these are made from 100 percent cotton yarn so it's eco-friendly also it's very beautiful uh, it's much better than the plastic coasters or the things or the coasters that you buy that are made up of polyester and nylon so i am sure you like this tutorial if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such videos on crochet meet you all back in another video until then it's bye from germany